Welcome back to Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study. What to expect this lesson? This lesson will be a review Hashem's commandments of revenge or avenge upon the nation of the Midianites and Moabites. The Midianites linked with the nation of Moabites, were the nations of sorcerers that the evil king Balak used upon the advice of Balaam, the Abael prophet, to lure and entrap the children of Israel, men of leadership positions, into whoredom ritual sexual perversion or occult sexual rituals that invoke demonic spirits. After the revenge battle is completed Hashem then informs Moses that he would be gathered unto his people. We reviewed these Bible studies in the chapters of Numbers 22 through 25. Numbers ch 24 The second oracle of Yah through Baal's prophet Balaam the Lord their God is with them. There is no sorcery against Jacob, no divination against Israel. Numbers ch 23 Evil cannot curse, what and who the Lord our God has blessed, for it is written. Numbers ch 22 For the love of money, a donkey has more sense, what is in a name? The lambs of the world shall pay in Jesus' name. Amen. The blog post that is coupled with live Bible studies can be found by clicking here, number CH25, the conclusion of Balaam's shame and the beginning of Israel's glory. Let us begin with today's lesson. Bible study handbook sources I love to use are linked below as well as on our website. 1. Historical portion of Bible study. Halley's Bible Handbook. Richard's Complete Bible Handbook. Erdman's Handbooks to the Bible. For historical information regarding the remaining book of Numbers please visit blog for Numbers chapter 27 hyperlinked here. Historical portion of Bible study complete. 2. Biblical text portion of Bible study. Geneva 1560 Bible teaching notes. Numbers chapter 31. Verses 1 through 2. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Reuenge the children of Israel of the Midianites, and afterward shalt thou be gathered unto thy people. Let's look at the biblical definitions of revenge and avenge. Definition of revenge or avenge. Number 5358 Nakam, Nakam, a primitive root. To avenge, take vengeance, revenge, avenge oneself, be avenged, be punished. To avenge, take vengeance. To entertain revengeful feelings. Niffle to avenge oneself. To suffer vengeance. Dash Piel, to avenge. Dash Hoffel, to be avenged, vengeance be taken, for blood dash hit pale, to avenge oneself. H 5360 number 5360 and at comma, neck a ma from H 5359. Vengeance. Vengeance, by God, by Israel, by enemies of Israel. We can read from the biblical text and definitions. Vengeance and avenge only comes upon those people, persons or nations that act willfully sinful and intentionally acted to harm or cause others to sin. Those persons, people, or nations who acted intentionally and willfully are unrepentant and feel no remorse for their actions in leading others astray or provoking. Hashem is a loving and patient God, but seem to forget that Hashem is also a God of justice and judgment. Justice is for the righteous and judgment is comes upon the wicked. Especially, upon the wicked who have harm is anointed, righteous, prophets, and are chose people those who have chosen the Torah covenant. This covers Israel, families, and persons as explained in covenant lesson titled, Numbers chapter 27, Our father had no sons, I am woman hear me roar. Inheritance, name and all, is theirs too, says the Lord. There are several Bible verse that cover Hashem being a God os love, kindness, and mercy, but also a God who ensures justice and judge will begin in the house of the Lord and all enemies of his people. 1 Peter chapter 4 Geneva Bible of 1587 Living for God's glory Cross-referenced with 1 Corinthians 10 23-33 For as much then as Christ hath suffered for verses in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind, which is, that he which hath suffered in the flesh, hath ceased from sinna, that he henceforward should leave, as much time as remaineth in the flesh, not after the lusts of men, but after the will of God. For it is sufficient for verses that we how spent the time past of ye life, after the lust of the Gentiles, walking in wantons, lusts, drunkenness, in gluttony, drinkings, and in abominable idolatries. For wherein it seemeth to them strange, that ye run not with them unto the same excessive riot, therefore speak they you ill of you, which shall gua accounts to him, that is ready to iudge quick and dead. For unto this purpose was the gospel preached also unto the dead, that they might be condemned, according to men in the flesh, but might leave you according to God in the Spirit. 7 Now the end day of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watching in prayer. But above all things how fair went among you, 
for Lu shall cure the multitude of sinners. Be ye harborous one to another, without grudging. Let Yuri man as he hath received the gift, minister the same one to another, as good disposers of the manifold the grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the words of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God ministereth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom is praise and dominion for Oya, and Oya, Amen. Suffering as Christians. 12 Darely Balad, think ye it not strange concerning the fury trial, which is among you to prove you, as though some strange thing were come unto you, but reois, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall appear, ye may be glad in reois. If ye be railed upon for the name of Christ, blessed are ye, for the spirit of glory, and of God resteth upon you, which on their part is you ill spoken of, but on your part is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or an ewell doer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. But if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this behalf. For the time is come, that I edgement must begin at the house of God. If it first begin at verses, what shall the end a be of them which obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be sought, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of God, commit their souls to him in well-doing, as unto a faithful creator. Bible verse covering the vengeance of the Lord. And also, how God expects us to act slash think or not act slash think towards slash of, those how have wronged us in any way. Vengeance is mine says the Lord. Romans 12 19. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Hebrews 10 30. For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. Deuteronomy 32 35. Vengeance is mine, and recompense, for the time when their foot shall slip, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and their doom comes swiftly. Romans 12 17. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. Proverbs 24 29. Do not say, I will do to him as he has done to me, I will pay the man back for what he has done. Proverbs 20 22. Do not say, I will repay evil, wait for the Lord, and he will deliver you. Leviticus 19 18. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself, I am the Lord. Psalm 94 1. O Lord, God of vengeance, O God of vengeance, shine forth. Nuum 1 2. The Lord is a jealous and avenging God, the Lord is avenging and wrathful, the Lord takes vengeance on his adversaries and keeps wrath for his enemies. Romans 12 17-21 Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him, if he is thirsty, give him something to drink, for by so doing you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. We can discern from the text, that God H. I. himself, will avenge those who have done wrong to us and those who we love. If we have an active relationship with him and we rely on him and him alone to right every wrong small and great. Continuing on, Numbers chapter 31 verse 3. And Moses spake to the people, saying, Harness some of you unto war, and let them go against Midian, to execute the vengeance of the Lord against Midian. God uses men or armies of nations, to execute vengeance of the Lord. God, also uses his wearing angels such as Michael or the angel of death, for judgment. Hashem, has used even weather and animals or insects for judgment. As far as justice is concerned, there are several different forms of justice as well. Although there are many forms or categories of justice, they are stem root from positive or negative. Positive, forms of justice are reserved for those who have for example completed rites of passage or proven faithful to Hashem or perhaps passed a test or trail. A possible example of this would be Jacob who is named Israel after wrestling with God all night after repenting for stealing the firstborn birthright from his brother Esau. We review this Bible study in Gen 32 and 33 Jacob and Esau reunite, forgiveness is possible for those who want peace. Negative, forms of justice are for those for example who have proven unfaithful or disobedient as in the case of Balaam. Balaam not only tested God, but conspired with Israel's enemies which lead the children of Israel into great sin. 
a positive forms of justice one will earn a reward or promotion or even perhaps the blessings will travel to the generations as was the case of Abraham. A negative form of justice well. Shemot, Exodus, chapter 34. And the Lord passed before him and proclaimed, Lord, Lord, benevolent God, who is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness and truth. Preserving loving kindness for thousands, forgiving iniquity and rebellion and sin, yet he does not completely clear, of sin, he visits the iniquity of parents on children and children's children, to the third and fourth generations. Devarim, Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And it will be, if you do not obey the Lord, your God, to observe to fulfill all his commandments and statutes which I am commanding you this day, that all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. We covered these positive and negatives during the classes of Deuteronomy 28 class cancelling ancestors and personal sins and curses. In those classes, we not only identified possible issues that may be holding a family or individuals back, but prayers to cancel the enemy's attacks. For those that interested please click on the link. From here we might have to take a heart and gut check. Many of God's children claim to be able to do his will or complete his assignments. But as we shall find out even warriors maybe not have the stomach to do what HaShem has commanded to the fullest and completion of the assignment. Numbers chapter 31 verses 4 through 12. A thousand of Uri tribe throughout all the tribes of Israel, shall ye send aid to the war dot so there were taken out of the thousands of Israel, twelve ye thousand prepared unto war, of Uri tribe a thousand dot and Moses sent them to the war, you and a thousand of Uri tribe, and sent them with Phineas the Sine of Eliezer the priest to the war, and the holy instruments, that is, the trumpets to blow were in his hand. And they warred against Midian, as the Lord had commanded Moses, and slew all the males. They slew also the kings of Midian among them that were slain, Ui and Rechem, and Zur, and Hur and Reba, few kings of Midian. And they slew Balaam the Sine of Baor with the sword. But the children of Israel took the women of Midian prisoners, and their children, and spoiled all their cattle, and all their flocks, and all their goods. And they burnt all their cities, wherein they dwelt and all their villages with fire. And they took all the spoil and all the prey both of men and beasts. And they brought the capshoes and that which they had taken, and the spoil unto Moses and to Eleazar the priest, and unto the congregation of the children of Israel, into ye camp in the plain of Moab, which was by Irton toward Iraco. The armies of Israel only completed the mission as we shall read. When the armies of the Lord fail to complete their mission there can be consequences. Numbers 31 13 true 15. Then Moses and Eleazar the priest, and all the princes of the congregation went out of the camp to meet them. And Moses was angry with the captains of the host, a, with the captains our thousands, and captains our hundreds, which came from the war and battle. And Moses said unto them, What? How ye sought all the women? Now this is where the gut check might be needed. We have to remember the lesson of Numbers ch 25, the conclusion of Balaam's shame and the beginning of Israel's glory. These women of the Midianites and Moabites were not just ordinary sweet homemakers, no. Those women were harlots of Baal, witches, honeypots, sorcerers, and or high priestess of Aster. Whether the army leaders thought they were sparing housewives or sister brides, who really knows, but the facts of the matter is when God says cast out by the root he indeed means to cast out by the root. Yes, this includes the wicked women and children. Why? Because, remember ancestral curses soul ties, and bloodline abominations. If Israel was to remain holy, they could not have evil spirits and people running around them or living in their houses, blending into their tribes. This gut check might prove to others how lukewarm, ignorant or cold for Yeshua they are. Not everyone is meant for war or battle. 100% but, when one goes against the order to Almighty God they are in rebellion. Plain and simple. There is no room for double-minded or weak stomachs when war and nations are concerned as we shall find out by reading further. Numbers chapter 31 16 through 20 continuing from and Moses said unto them. Behold, these caused the children of Israel through the counsel of Balaam to commit a trespass against the Lord, as concerning Peor, and there came a plague among the congregation of the Lord. Now therefore, slay all the males among the children, and kill all the women that how known man by carnal copulation. But all the women children that how not known carnal copulation, keep alua for your cellus. And ye shall remain without the host suin days, all that how killed any person, and all that how touched any dead, and purify both your cellus and your prisoners the third day and the suinth. Numbers 31 20 Also ye shall purify your garment and all that is made of skins and our work of goats here, and all things made of wood. Why these items as well need to be cleansed? because they are porous and can absorb evil spritz as well as blood. Remember from the curses class even items can be cursed or carry curses, so until the items are cleansed they carry evil spirits. Note, 
Not all items can be cleansed. And not all items are porous. But, even items that are not porous can carry evil spritz or curse. Always check with the Holy Spirit to guide one in all things or items especially item S that are going into the home or on a person or animal. I pray that short review helps others. Let's continue with the lesson. Numbers chapter 31 verses 21 through 30. And Eliezer ye priests sighed unto the men of war, which went to the battle, this is the ordinance of the law which the Lord commanded Moses, as for gold, and silver, brass, iron, tin, and lead you and all that may abide the fire, ye shall make it go through the fire, and it shall clean, yet, it shall purified with the water of purification, and all that suffereth not the fire, ye shall cause to pass a by the water. Ye shall wash also your clothes the seventh day, and ye shall clean, and afterward ye shall come into the host. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the sum of the pry that was taken, both of persons and of cattle, thou and Eleazar the priest, and the chief fathers of the congregation. And doi the prey between the soldiers that went to the war, and all the congregation. And thou shalt take a tribute unto ye, Lord of the men of war, which went out to battle, one person of few hundredth, both of the persons, and of the beus, and of the asses, and of the sheep. Ye shall take it of their half and jiwe it unto Eleazar the priest, as an heu offering of the Lord. But of the half of the children of Israel thou shalt take one, taken out of fifty both of the persons, of the beus, of the asses, and of the sheep, you and of all the cattle, and thou shalt jewe them unto the Luites, which how the charge of the tabernacle of the Lord. What is biblical purification? Was it immersion? By drive. Hyakatz writes. Washing with water, in what form? In biblical usage, the term rechatz, wash, denotes both everyday washing, Gen 24 32, 2 Sam 11 8, and ritual washing, Lev 14 to 8 to 9, 1624. Biblical law prescribes ritual washing as the final stage in the purification process, but nowhere does it specify how the required washing is to be carried out. Was it by immersing the entire body at one time in an installation constructed specifically for purposes of purification, in the manner known to us from the mikveyat of Second Temple times and later, or in a natural water source, such as a pool or a spring? Another possibility that cannot be excluded from the text itself is pouring water from a vessel onto the body. The regularity within daily life of defilement associated with menstruation or emission of semen requires us to assume that washing for purification was not a marginal concern in the kingdoms of Israel and Judah, on the contrary, it must have been a routine necessity of daily life. We must therefore re-examine the ways in which the ancient Israelites and Judahites may have carried out purification, taking account of geomorphological data and archaeological findings. Such an analysis can then serve as a basis for an attempt to reconstruct the way in which purification was actually carried out. Water Sources and Their Utilization The water supply available to the residents of the kingdoms of Israel and Judah, for both everyday and cultic use, had three principal sources, springs found near settled areas, wells and waterworks excavated to reach groundwater, and cisterns and reservoirs built to collect surface runoff from rainfall or overflowing streams. Archaeological and hydrological studies conducted have shown that water resources varied from place to place. The mountainous areas are rich in springs, but other areas, such as the Shepala, Foothills, and the Beersheba Valley, have very few. The water supply in the Shepala came primarily from wells dug down to groundwater and cisterns that collected surface runoff. The area's high water table could be reached by digging wells to a depth of only some 20 meters. The reality of supplying water by digging wells that reach groundwater is evident in the account of Isaac's servants digging wells in the region of Gerar, Gen 26 hours 17 minutes 22 seconds. Closing of the Biblical Portion of the Bible Study Numbers chapter 31 verses 31 through 54 And Moses and Eliezer the priest did as the Lord had commanded Moses. And the booty, to wit, the rest of the pry which the men of war had spoiled, was six hundredth suinti and few thousand sheep, and suinti and two thousand beus, and three score and one thousand asses, and two and thirty thousand persons in all, of women that had lion by no man. And the half, to wit, the part of them that went out to war touching the number of sheep, was three hundredth suin and thirty thousand, and few hundredth. And the Lord's tribute of the sheep was six hundredth and suinti and few, and the beus were six and thirty thousand, whereof the Lord's tribute was suinti and two. Dot, and the asses were thirty thousand and few hundredth. Whereof the Lord's tribute was three score and one and a person six and thousand, whereof the Lord's tribute was two and thirty persons. And Moses go the tribute of the Lord's offering unto Eleazar the priest, as the Lord had commanded Moses. And of the half of the children of Israel, which Moses duited from the men of war, for the half that pertained unto the congregation, was three hundred thirty and suin thousand sheep and few hundredth, and six and thirty thousand beus, and thirty thousand asses, 
and few hudreth, and sixteen thousand persons Moses, I say, took of the half that pertained unto the children of Israel, one taken out of fifty, both of the persons, and of the cattel, and go them unto the Luites, which how the charge of the tabernacle of the Lord, as the Lord had commanded Moses. Then the captains which were our thousands of the host, a, the captains our the thousands, and the captains our the hundreds came unto Moses and said to Moses, Thy sorrow and how taken the sum of the men of war which are under our authority, and there lacketh not one man of verses. We how therefore brought a present unto the Lord, what Uri man found of ewels of gold, bracelets, and shines, rings, ear ringes, and ornaments of the legs, to make an atonement for our souls before the Lord. And Moses and Eliezer the priest took the gold of them, and all wrought ewels, and all the gold of the offering that they offered BP to the Lord of the captains our thousands and hundreds, was sixteen thousand sous and hundredth and fifty shekels. For the men of war had spoiled, Uri man for himself and Moses and Eliezer the priest took the gold of the captains our the thousands, and our the hundreds, and brought it into the tabernacle of the congregation, for a memorial of the children of Israel before the Lord. Biblical portion of Bible study complete. The spiritual teaching of the Torah is be only during live Bible study. The Torah verses below are for those WHO like to read or study the Torah during their own time. For the sake of avoiding repeating the verses, I will only go over the verse God Hashem highlighted to US for this Bible study. Let US begin. 3. Torah Spiritual Teaching Portion of Bible Study Bamidbar, Numbers, Chapter 31 1. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, 2. Take revenge for the children of Israel against the Midianites, afterwards you will be gathered to your people. 3. So Moses spoke to the people, saying, Arm from among you men for the army, that they can be against Midian, and carry out the revenge of the Lord against Midian. 4. A thousand for each tribe, a thousand for each tribe, from all the tribes of Israel you shall send into the army. 5. From the thousands of Israel one thousand was given over for each tribe, twelve thousand armed for battle. 6 Moses sent them the thousand from each tribe to the army, them along with Phinehas the son of Eleazar the Cohen to the army, with the sacred utensils and the trumpets for sounding in his possession. 7 They mounted an attack against Midian, as the Lord had commanded Moses, and they killed every male. 8 And they killed the Midianite kings upon their slain, Evi, Rechem, Zur, Hur, and Reba, the five kings of Midian, and Balaam the son of Baor they slew with the sword. 9 The children of Israel took the Midianite women and their small children captive, and they plundered all their beasts, livestock, and all their possessions. 10 They set fire to all their residential cities and their castles. 11 They took all the booty and all the plunder of man and beast. 12 They brought the captives, the plunder, and the booty to Moses and to Eleazar the Kohen and to the entire community of Israel in the camp, in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho. 13 Moses, Eleazar the Kohen, and all princes of the community went out to meet them, outside the camp. 14 Moses became angry with the officers of the army, the commanders of thousands and the commanders of hundreds, who had returned from the campaign of war. 15 Moses said to them, Did you allow all the females to live? 16 They were the same ones who were involved with the children of Israel on Balaam's advice to betray the Lord over the incident of Peor, resulting in a plague among the congregation of the Lord. 17 So now kill every male child, and every woman who can lie intimately with a man you shall kill. 18 And all the young girls who have no experience of intimate relations with a man, you may keep alive for yourselves. 19 And you, encamp outside the camp for seven days, whoever killed a person or who touched a corpse shall cleanse himself on the third and seventh day, both you and your captives. 20 All garments, leather articles, any goat product, and every wooden article shall undergo purification. 21 Eliezer the Kohen said to the soldiers returning from battle, This is the statute that the Lord commanded Moses. 22 Only the gold, the silver, the copper, the iron, the tin, and the lead. 23 Whatever is used in fire you shall pass through fire and then it will be clean. It must, however, also, be cleansed with sprinkling water, and whatever is not used in fire you shall pass through water. 24 You shall wash your garments on the seventh day and become, ritually, clean, afterwards, you may enter the camp. 25 The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, 26 Take account of the plunder of the captive people and animals, you, together with Eliezer the Kohen and the paternal leaders of the community. 27 And you shall divide the plunder equally between the warriors who went out to battle and the entire congregation. 28 And you shall levy a tax for the Lord from the soldiers who went out to battle, one soul out of every five hundred. From the people, from the cattle, from the donkeys, and from the sheep. 29 You shall take from their half and give it to Eliezer the Kohen as a gift to the Lord. 30 From the half belonging to the children of Israel you shall take one part out of fifty of the people, of the cattle, of the donkeys, of the sheep, and of all animals, and you shall give them to the Levites, the guardians of the Mishkan of the Lord. Colon 31 Moses and Eliezer the Kohen did as the Lord had commanded Moses. 32 The plunder, 
which was in addition to the spoils that the army had spoiled, consisted of 675,000 sheep, 3372,000 cattle, 3461,000 donkeys, 35 as for the people, of the women who had no experience of intimate relations with a man, all souls were 32,000. 36 the half that was the portion of those who went out to battle, the number of sheep was 337,500, 37 the tax to the Lord from the sheep was 675, 38 36,000 cattle, of which the tax to the Lord was 72, 39 30,500 donkeys, of which the tax to the Lord was 61, 40 16,000 people, of which the tax to the Lord was 32 people, 41 Moses gave the tax which was a gift to the Lord, to Eliezer the Kohen, as the Lord had commanded Moses, 42 and from the half allotted to the children of Israel, which Moses had divided from the men who had gone into the army, 43 the community's half, consisted of, 337,500 sheep, 44 36,000 cattle, 45 30,500 donkeys, 46 and 16,000 people, 47 Moses took one part out of 50 from the half of the children of Israel, the people and the animals, and gave them to the Levites, the guardians of the Lord's sanctuary as God commanded Moses, 48 the officers appointed over the army's thousands, the commanders of thousands and the commanders of hundreds, approached Moses, 49 they said to Moses, your servants counted the soldiers who were in our charge, and not one man was missing from us, 50 we therefore wished to bring an offering for the Lord. Any man who found a gold article, be it an anklet, a bracelet, a ring, an ear ring, or a body ornament, to atone for our souls before the Lord, 51 Moses and Eliezer the Kohen took all the gold articles from them, 52 the total of the gift of gold which they dedicated to the Lord, amounted to, 16,750 shekels, this was from the commanders of the thousands and the commanders of the hundreds. 53 the soldiers had seized spoils for themselves, 54 Moses and Eliezer the Kohen took the gold from the commanders of the thousands and hundreds and brought it to the tent of meeting, as a remembrance for the children of Israel before the Lord. Hebrewat, transliteration, holy name KJV. Bamidbar slash numbers 31. 1 The Midianites are spoiled, and Balaam slain. 13 Moses is wroth with the officers for saving the women alive. 19 How the soldiers, with their captives and spoil, are to be purified. 25 The proportion whereby the prey is to be divided. 48 The voluntary ablation unto the treasury of Yahweh. 31 To one Waitaber Yua El Masha Lemor. 31 To tune Kim Nikmat Ni Yisrael Meet Hamid Yani Yim Ashar Tis Vele. Meka. 31 to 3 Waitaber Masha El Ham Lemor Hekaltsu Makam and Ashim Latsava Yihu El Midian Latet Nikmat Yuab Midian. 31 to 4 Lf La Ma A Lf La Ma A L Kal Ma O T Yisrael Tishlchu Latsava. 31 to 5 Y Yamazru Milfi Yisrael Lf La Ma A Shni Masar Lf Chalyatzi Zava. 31 to 6 Y Yishlak Adam Masha Lf La Ma A Latsava Adam Wet Pinches Benelazar Ha Kohen Latsava Yukli Ha Kodesh Waket Sotsrat Ha Trua Bayado. 31 to 7 Y Yitzbu Al Midian Kashert Siwaiwa Et Masha Y Yahard Yu Kal Zakar. 31 to 8 Wet Malki Midian Harg Yu El Chalihem Et Yui Wet Rekem Wet Sur Wet Kur Wet Reba Chamshit Malki Midian Wet Bailam Ben Bor Harg Yu Bikurev. 31 to 9 Y Yishbuvni Yisrael Et Nshi Midian Wet Apam Wet Kalbam Tom Wet Kal Mikhnem Wet Kal Shalom Bazazu. 31 10 Wet Kal Arahem Mashvatam Wet Kal Iratam Sarfu Besh. 31 11 Y Yikshu Wet Kal Hashalal Wet Kal Ha Malkak Batam Yuvabhima. 31 12 Y Avu El Masha Well Elazar Ha Kohen Well Adatni Yisrael Et Hashvi Wet Ha Malkak Wet Hashalal El Hamakene El Arvat Mo Vasher Al Yardin Yeko S. 31 13 Yetsu Masha Wellazar Ha Kohen Wel Kalan Ca Hita Likratam El Mishutz La. Makene. 31 14 Y Yiksof Masha Alp Di Hekiel Seri Halafiam Seri Hamio Hapayam Mitzvah Ha. Milchama. 31 15 Y Yomer Elihem Masha Hachi Yud Em Kalan Kava. 31 16 Hen Hena Heyu Livni Yisrael Bide Var by Lam Limzer Mal Behua Al Dvar Por Wathi Hama Jeffa Bada Yua. 3117 Water heard you call Zakar Ba off will call Isha Yadat Ishal Mishkav Zakar Haragu. 3118 Wahol Ha Af Banashi Masher Lo Yadu Mishkav Zakar Chiyulikum. 3119 Watem Chanu Mishuts La Makene Shivat Yamim Kol Horeg Nefesh Wahol Noj Beshalal Tit Apostrophe Chow Biom Hashlishi Uvayam Hashvaya Temushvakam. 3120 Will call Bijd will call Kli or will call Masay Izim will call Kliets Tit Apostrophe Cha OS.
3121 Y Yomer Elazar Ha Kohen Alanchi Hat Saba Hapayim La Milchama Zat Chu Kat Hatora Asher Tsiwayua Et Masha. 3122 Akhet Hazaav Wet Hakesef Ethan Chushet Etha Bartzel Et Habdil Wet Hoferet. 3123 Kaldavar Asher Yavo Vesh Taviru Vesh W Apostrophe Aher Akhmi Nita Yit Apostrophe Cha A Diarisis Wol Asher Lo Yavo Vesh Taviru Vame. 3124 Ugi Bastam Bigdakam Biom Hashva I U Circumflex Hartam Waker Tavu El Hamak N A F. 3125 Y Yomer Yua El Masha Lemor. 3126 Sa Et Rush Hashvi Badam Yuvab Hima Ata Wellazar Ha Kohen Rashi of Ohita. 3127 Chatsita Etha Malkak Bind Tofsi Ha Milchama Ha Yotsiam Lat Sava Yuvain Kalhita. 3128 Waharamoda Mix Lehwa Meet Anshi Ha Milchama Ha Yotsiam Lat Sava A Had Nefesh Mekamesh Hamio Min Hadam Yuman Habakar Yuman Hakamorim Yuman Hatsan. 3129 Mi Maketsi Tom Tikachu Wana Tata Lelazar Ha Kohen Trumatua. 3130 Umi Maketsit Ni Yisrael T Kak Ehada Chuz Min Hakamashim Min Hadam Min Habakar Min Hakamorim Yuman Hatsan Michael Habhima Winatata Adam Lawi Yim Shomri Mishmerit Mishkanyua. 3131 Y Yas Masha Wellazar Ha Kohen Kashert Siwayua Et Masha. 3132 Wehi Ha Malkak Yetzer Habaz Asher Bazu M Hat Savazan Shesh Mio Elef Washivim Elef Wakamesh at Alafiyim. 3133 Yuvakar Shnayim Washivim Elef. 3134 Wakamori May Had Washishim Alef. 3135 Wunafesh Adam Min Hanashim Asher Lo Yadu Mishkab Zakar Kal Nefesh Shnayim Ushloshim Alef. 3136 Wathi Hamek Etza Chelik Ha Yotzi and Batsava Mispar Hatsan Shlosh Mio Elef Ushloshim Elef Washivit Alefim Wakamesh Mio. 3137 Wehi Hamek Lehua Min Hatsan Shesh Mio Chamshwashivim. 3138 Wabakar Shisha Ushloshim Alef Umixim Lehua Shnayim Washivim. 3139 Wakamorim Shloshim Elef Wakamesh Mio Umixim Lehua A Had Washishim. 3141 Afesh Adam Shaisha Asar Alef Umixim Lehua Shnayim Ushloshim Nafsh. 3141 Yaten Masha Et Mix Trumit Yua Lelazar Ha Kohen Kasher Tsiwa Yua Et Masha. 3142 Umi Maketsi Pni Yisrael Asher Chatsa Masha Min Hanashim Hatsabayim. 3143 Wathi Meketz at Hita Min Hatsan Shlosh Mio Elef Ushloshim Elef Shivit Alafiyim Wakamesh Mio. 3144 Yuvakar Shaisha Ushloshim Elef. 3145 Wakamorim Shloshim Elef Wakamesh Mio. 3146 Wunafesh Adam Shaisha Asar Elef. 3147 Y Yi Kak Masha Mi Meketz at Ni Yisrael at Hachuz Ehad Min Hakamashim Min Hadam Yuman Habhima Y Yaten Adam Lawi Yim Shomri Mishmerit Mishkan Yua Kashert Siwa Et Masha. 3148 Y Yikravu El Masha Hapjim Asher Lafi Hat Sava Seri Halafiyim Seri Hamio. 3149 Y Yamru El Masha Avad Ekan Nasu at Rush Anshi Ha Milchama Asher Bayadenu Lo Nifquad Mi Menuish. 3151 Nakrev et Karban Yua Ishashur Matza Kli Zahavet Sada was a Miyade Bat Agil Kumazl Kapar Al Nafshatenu Lifneyua. 3151 Y Ye Kak Masha Wellazar Ha Kohen et Hazav made him Kol Kli Masay. 3152 Wei Ye Kal Jav Hatruma Asher Harimu Lehua Shaisha Asar El of Shvamio Wei Kamashim Shakal Meet Seri Halafiyam Yu Meet Seri Hamio. 3153 Anshi Hatsava Bazu Ishlo. 3154 Y Ye Kak Masha Wellazar Ha Kohen et Hazav Meet Seri Halafiyam Wamio Y Avu Otto El Oval Moed Zikaran Livni Yisrael Lifneyua F. Amen and Amen. Torah reading complete. Note All sources are hyperlinked to allow more translatable version and podcast. I pray others got something out of this history, Bible study, and spiritual Torah reading teaching. Until next time. The Priestly Blessing. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. And be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In Yeshua HaMashiach mighty glorious name. Forever and ever. Amen and Amen. Cover art created by Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study.
Photos https colon slash slash www.clickasnap.com slash speak God's grace or Facebook page http colon slash slash www.facebook.slash Marie Speaks 009. For those that are new to this Bible study, welcome. The following is a brief review of this Bible study. 1. This blog post will have the resources and sources links for the Season 4 Bible studies. 2. All books used and readings from during Live Bible Study can be found on our website, Marie Speaks God's Grace. Live in the Season 4 portion of the website. 3. After live Bible studies have completed, I will upload to Rumble and post link in this blog. Click and follow for shorts. How we conduct Bible studies here. We believe God has called each of us to search matters out. The glory of God is to conceal a thing secret, but the King's honor is to search out a thing. Proverbs 25 2. This is one reason why here at Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study we review several historical references and resources, of which we provide links and or screenshots for others to study at their leisure. We have been directed by God Almighty, to go book by book, verse by verse, sharing His good news. We believe as directed by God our Heavenly Father, learning and growing in Christ shall only be achieved in reading, studying, and sharing His word for ourselves, not relying on man. Luke 9 1 then called he his twelve disciples together, and gave them power and authority over all devils, and to heal diseases. Two and he sent them forth to preach the kingdom of God, and to cure the sick, Matthew 24 4 and Jesus answered, and sighed unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. 5 For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive you many. Learning, growing, and studying with our Lord is to be done with others that are like-minded, but more so during our personal time. Matthew 6 6 But when thou prayest, enter into thy chamber and when thou hast shut thy door a, pray unto thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. Zero. The blogs are written to assist those just beginning to study the Bible as a starting point. The live or recorded Bible studies are to cover and release opportunities and guidance, but ultimately is one's own personal responsibility to rule, govern, and be purposeful in their relationship with God, Christ, and the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 3 8. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive his wages according to his labor. Proverbs 22 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, even when he is old he will not depart from it. Romans 12 6 8. Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them, if prophecy, in proportion to our faith, if service, in our serving, the one who teaches, in his teaching, the one who exhorts, in his exhortation the one who contributes, in generosity, the one who leads, with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy, with cheerfulness. Ezekiel 18:20. The soul who sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. My Hashem, blessed be he continue to bless you us all and may we all be forever written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen and Amen. Let us begin. Link to Rumble Live Bible Study. Link to Previous Bible Study. Audio Podcast Blog Version of Bible Study. Audio of Blog. Link to YouTube Live Link Bible Study.